My name is Zane, from Birmingham, I'm 22 years old. My job title is electrician, mainly working in the Midlands. It's electrical, obviously to become a qualified electrician and um, hopefully moving towards other qualifications as well. When I left school, I had no idea what I, what I wanted to go into. So at first I joined a traineeship to obviously look at obviously various options and um, took an interest into electrical. So when I'd done my level two and three, I, still, I wanted to complete it, I wanted to finish obviously what I'd learned so far and obviously get a job in this sector. So obviously I was applying loads and the PHS gave me the opportunity to finish my MVQ and become qualified. Um, you learn, obviously at, at first you start for the basics, uh, depending on what the electrician will let you do, because obviously you don't have no experience, not going to let you start playing around in panels and whatnot. So um, it was just little things at first, like watching the electrician, taking notes, asking them what they're doing, you know, just genuinely seem interested, do you know what I mean? And obviously you start asking, can I do this, can I do that, obviously it goes from little things, changing light switches, changing plug sockets, and obviously when you gain a bit of confidence you can start changing light fittings. Um, Obviously the work is very broad, obviously when you start doing wiring, I mean you start to pick up a lot of their, seeing how things are work, how things are run, do you know what I mean? And then obviously you move on to your fuse boards, your panels and then obviously when you work with someone who's overlooking you, they can teach quite a lot. In many ways to be honest, uh, obviously before you finish your apprenticeship you still, you're not really, until you're qualified you're not really anyone really, when you can qualified kind of depended on, if that makes sense. Not really depended on, but um, you're an asset to the company, in a way, do you know what I mean? Yeah, in a way. Obviously the challenge was to see how far I could go with it, do you know what I mean? Obviously, at first it was just a bit of a goal, do you know what I mean? And then obviously when you start uh, like completing steps towards finishing your apprenticeship, it's like a how far can I go with this, do you know what I mean? So I'm six months into my qualification, well, into being qualified. So there's a broad spectrum of stuff that I haven't covered yet, do you know what I mean? So it's a lot of stuff that I've, like, haven't done on my own, do you know what I mean? Obviously it's working with engineers, yeah, but I come across different challenges every day and obviously becoming more competent in my field would be the main focus before focusing on another apprenticeship. Yeah, definitely. It, um, it, obviously, it's a chance to work and learn at the same time. It's definitely a thing that I'd recommend to people, especially people that haven't got a trade, do you know what I mean? Because it's not only just electrics you can go into, there's plumbing, carpentry, there's that many different trades you could literally work in. 